Hello everybody and welcome back to my story. So the other day, uh, if you're following me on Instagram, you will have noticed that I posted a few photos which I said I had taken utilizing a custom made filter that I created from an old floppy disk. And I like the idea so much that I decided to go ahead and try a bigger version for my Canon camera so that I could take it out and get some video of the sunset. And so it was made from just a normal floppy disk that's approximately 15 to 20 years old and uh, they're all different on the inside depending on the manufacturer in terms of um, whether or not you could use them like this so it's just something you'll have to try if you want to do it on your own um, you really don't know until you have it open whether or not it's going to work or not or whether or not it's going to let through enough light but when it does it looks pretty amazing so basically the process works by uh, popping the top of the floppy disk open and then removing the inside which produces this small round magnetic medium which we can use as a custom filter by cutting to the correct specifications. All done. Let's head out. not the best of filters ever, but I think it really gives an amazing effect. I love the sort of uh, burnt orange feel. It almost gives that otherworldly Martian sort of uh, maybe even a post-apocalyptic type of uh, view of the world. It's really kind of neat. I'm a lot more impressed than I thought I would be. Especially for being about a 15, 20 year old floppy disk that was just lying around in a box. Uh, to be able to slap it on a camera and make a filter out of it is so cool. I'm liking it more and more. I think this is just really cool. And I've always been one of those uh, people that loves the DIY side of photography. Um, I started out, uh, I wouldn't say I started out my photography experience, but definitely my first uh, intro into the more professional side of photography was doing my own DIY uh, pinhole, ca pinhole camera, and that was one of the coolest experiences of my life to be able to make a camera from scratch and then um, develop my own prints out of it and uh, really gave me an amazing uh, start into that world of photography and so I always like making kind of uh, interesting little experiments like this. And I'm trying to make this one long video because I don't want the lens to retract because I have tape on it right now. It's not much and it wouldn't hurt it, but I don't I don't want to really take any risk at this point. But look at those colors. That is just really neat. And all out of something designed uh, as storage media for a computer. As the light dims, it keeps getting redder and redder. But you can still see a lot of the natural color poking through. Sometimes the uh, coolest photos and the coolest videos can actually come from something completely unexpected. A big thank you to all my supporters out there. It's been so much fun creating all this uh, content for you guys. And uh, especially on this uh, new channel, I've been really loving the second part of this uh, journey that I've been on for the last few years on YouTube. And if you're watching this and you haven't seen me before, uh, make sure you check out my first channel, 539 Productions, and uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date on this weekly and now daily uh, video experience. And also make sure to check out my uh, other social media accounts such as Instagram, uh, Twitter, and now Snapchat. Thanks so much everybody and I hope you have a great night.